Come on over, it's well, time for Tim Friend. Yeah, welcome back to Tim Friend. Today we're going to get into the opening scene of Chapter 7 of Fire Emblem 7X, Come Hell or High Water. Uh, I hope this won't take the whole episode, but we'll fucking see. As you may have noticed, my lord, the morning fog is particularly thick in the region during this season. Were we to strategically arrange torches like so, we would be able to submerge ourselves in shadow and thin their number by the dozen before we were in danger of counterattack. And when they do go charging into the darkness, we will have drawn back to the high ground, as I was, I was discussing, over here. They will find nothing but Hussar's traps, leaving them vulnerable to another strike, or entangled while we effect a retreat. These scenarios of yours are growing more and more circumstantial, Sir Malik. He just uses good, his correct name in the support. Why does he have to say the wrong name? And we'll need each and every one, Lordling. It's important to know what options we have available to us at any given time, and how best to use any godsend advantage we get. Etruria isn't known for its tactical prowess, but it is without contest the most populous nation. They can afford to throw thousands of men into our traps just to confound us. <sighs> I tire of this. We have three points to hold and barely a dozen swords to hold them. Prepare whatever plots and schemes you like. When the moment comes, I will break them under my claymore until I drown in their blood. Be gone. My lord. Sir. Damn, Uther. Fucking cold-blooded. Isadora. Yes? Summon Bart, if you would. Very well. Bart being the mayor of the Vale. Mr. Bartfried, mayor of the Vale. Thank you. Get some rest, my lady. I shall try, my lord. Sorry for not knowing me courtesies, my lord. The highest ranked fellow we see out here is the tax man. That's fine. I just wanted a moment to thank you for your help, and that would be hard with you groveling at my feet. What, should I? Heavens no. You can point me to a good ale, though. What's mine is yours. And a good thing. Sir Eagler tells me your sons are surprisingly adept with their weapons. They may not have instructors, but they're, they've nothing if not three time and enthusiasm. Dying for their country might do them good at that. Let's hope it doesn't come to that. There's no real way we can hold this point, so it might be best if we just retreat under their first charge. Then we meet with the hosts from Austria, which I pray is on the way, and return. Uh, the fact that he says that I pray is on the way sort of hammers home the, the uncertainty of the lack of telephonic communications in this era, which I... I really appreciate. You don't sound mighty convinced of it. That's just it. The last word from the capital gave no mention of such reinforcements. It's highly possible that the only reason I've been sent here is to die and give the marches due cause to raise their banners. That's a bitter thought if I ever heard one. Me finest brew coming right up. Eh, eh. Cheers. Perhaps that wouldn't be so bad, hey Bart? When they sing of the Rebel Prince, maybe they'll end with me fertilizing your fields. If they remember me name, I'm all for it, sir. Uh, I to the name. Pour me around and I'll toast you on with a blessing. I have to go really hard pirate, because it's Fargus, remember? From Fire Emblem 7 and also from the first chapter of Tristan. Ah, Mr. Fargus, you're still here? I'm here as long as the drinks are here, matey. Bottoms up and gods bless your blade. The wind at your back, Fargus. They drank and they quaffed it in one go. They getting fucked up. And they get to see Marcus and Sybil going to want to talk. <coughs> oh my god, excuse me. Whew. Phew. Sir Eagler's drills really take it out of you. Better call it quits for the night or I'll fall asleep from exhaustion. This watch is long enough as it is. Don't know why they bothered putting me on watch anyway. If anything can make it past Hussar, I've got no chance of spotting it. Ooh, ooh. Ah, this is the definition of pointless. wonder what Lazy Isadora's doing. Oh, hey. They come, they, they talking to each other. They chilling. <gasps> Who could it be? Is it the Arturians? Because that's what kind of armor they're wearing. <laughs> What's so this? I'm trying to convince Harkin to return to his post. Are you unwell, my lord? Look at him. He's shot right past unwell and into toxic. Ah, if you know I'm good for another tree rounds. Elise. This isn't good. We should wake Sir Eagler. Bland as boiled man he is. No, that's why you Madeline. I can see my lord is being kept in the most capable of hands. 
Oh, they have to support him. Oh shit, that was not Isadora's voice. My bad. Look, kids, it's Lenny. How you doing, Lenny Longlegs? My, he is well pickled, isn't he? He knows better than to call me that. Lenny Lime, Lenny Limpris, oh Lenny Lindson, Esquire. That's how it is, eh, my lord? Perhaps I should leave you to your fate, then. What do you mean by that, mister? He means the encroaching Etrurians, says someone. Eh? Oh, it's... It's... Nime? I think it's Nime. Hey, there's the Etrurians. All three of them. No, I should have been here. It's too late to make a fuss now. Who are they? Assassins? Of a fashion... More like warhounds. They move to surround the village even now. You must move swiftly. To move a force of this size in total silence. I'm impressed. We owe you our lives, ma'am. You know exactly who I am, Leonard. Let's not be coy. The mountain hermit Nime. Yes, perhaps I do, but I don't know what your motive is in this conflict. I just want to make sure the chain of events follow their intended course. What? Wanna fight today? Ha! <laughs> Skinny mongrels like that, I can take them all myself. Rouse the others, you two. I'll keep them in line. We still don't know who either of you are. He's Lenny the Lime, and she's a mountain hermit. Come on. Hehehe. <laughs> don't think I'll soon forget about this, Uther. Lenny no laughs. Oh. There's our thief. This Lenny. Leonard. Mr. Bartfried. What's the bother? Is it an attack? That's right. Raise the alarm if you would. Very calm under pressure. Very well done. Don't you worry, miss. My boys will have this sorted in no time. Look at him. Damn, he's fucking beefy as hell. On attack, the lady said. I'd best finish setting up my tent. They're going to need someone to manage their spare equipment. Where's Junior gone off to? I swear I had him posted just here. A tall fellow, arms like a bear. Spits a lot. That's him, apple of me eye. I conscripting, conscripted him to help set up the armory tent. The other two I set to digging latrines. What? Are you daft, man? They were on watch. And in case you haven't noticed, we're in the middle of a village. We've already got an outhouse. Hmm, you make a good point there. Bugger it, I'll get him myself. But what's the point of setting a camp watch with no camp to guard? I mean, the, the town is the camp. I guess this... Do not be so hasty, my lords. Before you make any decisions, come see me at the homestead. But we can get our fortune told for free, I think. Fuck. Yeah, right? They're pretty comely, you know that? You know what? Shush. Hello, dearies. Step right in. Don't worry about my fee the good quartermaster saw to that. But feel free to drop a coin in the cauldron for luck, eh? A bargain at twice the price. So how do we do this? Just hold tight, my colorful lad, and watch the future rise forth. <laughs> I can <laughs> see myself. How you doing down there, little Luther? Get your hands out of there, you sot. All right, now, let's see what we have in store. Three heads the serpent has, west, north, and east. The east and west will press you from the outset, but you must also save the village from the mountain reavers. Aye, but whatever you do, do not tarry outside the village, for from the east ride axes and flame. You do not want to be caught by surprise when they come rushing in from the darkness. You will be working blind, so use torches, thieves, torches, torches, thieves, and flares, both kinds of torches, to reveal what is ahead of you. You should expect horse slayers and mercenary marksmen. The serpent has venom as well, and when the last head strikes, it will come with killer speed. Very well. I'll make you have to make use of this as best I can. Is there anything else? Hmm. Oh, be sure to have a care for kind old Bart and his boys, hmm? Their deaths will have great and far-reaching consequences. But perhaps that's just weather interference? Check again later. <laughs> Little magic eight ball trick. I'll die before I let anything happen to that man. He's like a father to me. All right, Uther, let's find you some water. So she tells you in vague terms, but... Uh, with the benefit of hindsight, you can know exactly what to expect, uh, unfortunately. Uh, they're gonna hit us from the left and the right, right out the gate. Uh, we can expect a lot of horses. 
Uh, there's going to be a mini boss about halfway through who is a bunch of horsemen uh, who wield axes and then some mages with fire attacks. Uh, they're going to use some poison stuff. There's going to be bandits coming out of the mountains, which are only there and there, so they're going to be coming from the south and around. Uh, and the final guy will come with a killer weapon, which is the, the killer speed that Nime mentioned. Uh, we start with a fairly small view, uh, but we can, uh, I believe, uh, not not quite yet. We have to do formation. We can, uh, we can't move Leonard, so we can't get our uh, our cool little uh, spyglass of just hopping him around to different places to see what we get. But well, this is our starting position, and we have to, I believe, defend uh, or just kill all the enemies. I'm not 100% sure which. Uh, I always end up killing all the enemies anyway, because... Oh, no, it starts as defend, becomes defeat all enemies, or defeat boss or something. All right, uh, next time on Tim Friend, uh, we'll get crack a lacking. All right, see you next time, everybody. <laughs> We're Tim Friend.